Solar system. Sun. Mercury. Venus. Earth. Mars. Asteroid belt. Jupiter. Saturn. Uranus. Neptune. Solar system. Mercury. It's the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest to the sun. If you lived on Mercury, you'd have a birthday every three months. Venus. Venus is similar in size to Earth, just a little smaller. It's so hot on Venus that metals like lead would be puddles of melted liquid. Earth. We can say that it is a water planet since water covers 70% of the Earth's surface. In 1999, our moon was found to have a neutral sodium tail like a comet. Mars. Mars crust has different thicknesses. On one side it is thick and on the other thin. It looks like Mars went through a tough battle and lost part of its crust. Asteroid belt. Asteroids are sometimes called minor planets that are made of rock, metal, and dust. Jupiter. Jupiter is a gas giant and doesn't have a solid surface. In Greek mythology, Jupiter was regarded as Zeus, who rules as king of the gods on Mount Olympus. Saturn. Saturn is a gas giant like Jupiter. It is not the only planet to have rings, but none are as spectacular or as complicated as Saturn's. Uranus. His Roman name is Calus. The astronomers at the time started with the name Calus. It went over to Greek for Uranus and then Latinized Uranus to make Uranus. Neptune. Neptune is dark, cold, and very windy. It is the last of the planets in our solar system. Beyond Neptune, a newer class of smaller worlds called dwarf planets reign, including longtime favorite Pluto. Thousands more planets have been discovered beyond our solar system. Scientists call them exoplanets. Exo meaning outside. So how many objects are there in our solar system? Well, eight planets, five dwarf planets, over 200 moons, millions of asteroids. Hmm, so it's not that empty after all. Like and subscribe.